some of the greatest golfers on earth are among his fans. Their golf game has been shaped by his expert eye. They seek him out to sort out their swings. He's a man who stands above all other modern teachers with a client list like no other coach. His father was a major champion. His three brothers are also in the game. From the first family of golf, Golfing World meets Butch Harmon. My father won the Masters in 1948. My brothers and I are all uh, golf professionals. Uh, golf has been in our blood for a long time. I, I, I like to tell people if they ever made golf illegal, I don't know what I'd do, because I've done this for so long. It's just, uh, it's a very rewarding uh, life. When you consider this is my office right here, where we sit here at the golf school. We meet so many great people from all over the world, and you get to travel all over the world with this game. It's a, it's a pretty uh, wonderful sport to be in. The man behind the men who've created some of golf's greatest recent memories, Harmon is the go-to guy for the world's elite players. But he also distributes his brand of coaching to the public through a number of Harmon-branded teaching facilities. Well, our golf schools, uh, you know, my headquarters is right here in Las Vegas. We're in Macau, we're in Dubai, we're in Florida. And people say, why don't you branch out around the world? I don't because I'm a very hands-on person. I like to be able to spend time at my facilities, to spend time with our uh, people that come to our facilities and work with them. So I, I could have 15 or 20 golf schools all over the world and just have somebody pay me a rights fee, but then I wouldn't be in control. I like to be in control of the way things are run. It's important for me. It's not just my name that's on this. The Harmon name, we're a very successful name in the business. So it's my dad's name, it's my brother's name, it's me. So I want everything to be first class. So I have to have a, a personal touch on that. And if I branched out and got too big, I would lose that is the reason I don't. So the facilities we have, I make sure I spend time at them. I make sure I train everybody that works at them. And we've had a good uh, business model that's been successful. With thankful clients from the amateur and professional ranks, it's no surprise that Butch has been voted the game's number one instructor for 12 consecutive years. It's a wonderful honor because it's voted on by my peers, by other teachers. Uh, so I'm very uh, honored that that's gone on for 10, 11 years. Uh, I think it's just longevity of success. Uh, I think the fact that I'm not a person that believes in systems. I believe everyone's different and I try and teach them all as individuals. I don't try and change what you do naturally. I just try and make you better at what you do. I've had great success at the professional level now for 30 years. And I think the average person thinks that's all I teach is, the, is tour professionals. And I spend the majority of my time, like you saw today, with the average golfers. I mean, that's when I probably spend 75% of my time is with the average player, not with the tour player. The notoriety came from having so many different guys win major turn championships that I've worked with. But in reality, most of my time is spent with the average players. So it's a, it's a very humbling and rewarding uh, award to receive that for so many years in a row. I'm not sure I know why, but I don't mind getting it. Harmon appears to have the Midas touch when it comes to teaching, and he's got some useful advice for the average golfer trying to improve their game. Number one, when you drive up to the golf course, leave your ego in the car, because you're not as good as you think you are. You don't hit the ball as far as you think you do. The other thing is the average golfer, no matter what their handicap, never seems to take enough club to reach the, the flag. They take the club that if they hit it at their ax, maximum best, it might just get pin high. I always tell them if it's a seven iron shot, take a six iron, swing smoother, you'll hit the, the ball better. So I think what's happened with the average player, because they hear this on TV all the time, is how far these young kids and pros hit the ball. They're all swinging as hard as they can in case they hit it, because they think that's gonna give them more distance. When in reality, each one of us can only hit the ball so far, the key is to hit the ball solid every time on the right path and get the best out of your own ability. So if you can swing within yourself, realize your capabilities, what you can do and what you can't do, practice so the things that you don't do well you get better at, you'll be more consistent, you'll have more fun. Butch's most high-profile professional client is Open champion Phil Mickelson. Well, Phil has played really well. Phil, Phil and I still work together. I think 2014 has the, the chance of being his greatest year ever. He's, he's really uh, psyched up about it. He feels good about everything. Dustin Johnson, the sky's the limit. I mean, he can be as good as he wants to be. If he puts his mind to it and works hard, uh, he can be truly one of the best players in the world. 
Tiger Woods is the greatest player I've ever seen. I don't work with Tiger anymore. I haven't since 2002. It's 11 years now, but he's the greatest player I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody that could do what he does. I think now uh, he has a little pressure on himself that he self-inflicts, not just the media, because they talk about he hasn't won a major since he won the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines. And I think we can see him pushing a little when he gets to the majors, a little more so than when he plays in a regular tournament. But Tiger Woods is going to be fine. He's going to continue to win tons of tournaments. He will win more majors. Uh, I look at some of the younger guys, Gary Woodland, for example, I think he's going to be a heck of a player. He has, he hits the ball so far, he's learned how to control it under the tutelage of my son Claude. His short game is getting better, which is great. Golf's in a great place. It's going to be fun to be around to watch these uh, young kids and these old veterans uh, keep playing better and better. In no hurry to hang up his spikes, Harmon is grateful to have had the life he's had and still loves what he does. Well, I, I feel that on a professional level, everybody that's come to me has gotten better, and, and I pride myself that. On a personal level, uh, I think my achievement is I've just had the opportunity to be on this earth 70 years now and in this environment, and I can't think of a better way to, to spend your time and, and to have the chance to make a good living at it. So I don't know if it's an achievement, but I sure like the fact that I chose this as a profession and I've been in it for so long. And long may that continue for Butch Harmon making the difference for amateur and professional golfers around the world.